What's going on people, Revolution family, it's Raphael aka Versatile, I want to thank you for becoming a subscriber, I want to thank you for watching all of our previous videos, I want to thank you for, you know, liking the videos and commenting and stuff of that nature, so, um, make sure you share this video, share this channel, help it grow, you know, we want to see numbers rise, even though I don't really care about numbers, I just care about you you um getting the content and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any of the video content that we be uploading on a regular basis that's to do with all things to do with the african and caribbean diaspora okay so if you've got any questions or any subjects you would like for us to discuss then please leave that in the comment section below or alternatively what you can do is actually private message us through our social media pages and the link to that is in the description box. So, let's get into today's video. Does religion affect how black people act and react? Wow. I don't know. There's many contributing factors. It does to a degree and it doesn't because not every black person or African are religious. Not all will consider themselves spiritualist. So it depends on the individual and how they were taught as well. That's the other thing because it's one thing learning information, for example, when you're a child and you're taught certain things, you you will understand it completely different. Ten years later, another decade, you will understand it on a different level. Another decade, you will understand it on a different level. So it it varies, and it varies from person to person based on their their life experiences, stuff like that. So this is why it's important to teach children how to be critical thinkers because then they'll be able to question certain things and they'll be able to come up to, with their own conclusion yeah their own conclusion that's the most important thing and yeah i mean to a degree yes i'm gonna say yes it does affect how black some black people who are religious um react and act and some are not holier than thou i would just say that some are not holier than thou. So they may be preaching the good word, going to church on a Sunday or to some, um, notably some Africans, yeah, most of them Nigerians, going to church like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And they're still quote unquote sinning. I don't know. Look, it's, just, it's a crazy one. I don't, I, it's, it's a crazy one. Some people, like, it's an individual thing, isn't it? Like, and then you've got to look at it from different levels. That like, there's, there's lessons in certain religion. In fact, there's lessons in all religions. But it's how they learn the lesson. Do you understand? Um, I can't think of um one at the top of my head. But, you know, it's just perception, really. That's all it is, just perception. I mean, I'm not going to say sit here or stand here and tell you, oh, that's wrong, and people shouldn't be reacting this way, blah, blah, blah. All I'm going to say is this. Everything in life in general, before religion and all that stuff there, comes down to survival. Religion does in some way react. Um, that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, the reason why I do say yes is because some people would rather pray like if they're injured right or they see one of their family members injured yeah they or their friends they would rather just pray to the their deity or whoever they want to call it god allah buddha whatever or they would rather pray first then call the ambulance some however would call the ambulance and then pray 
You understand? Like, there's different levels to it. Different levels. I don't understand the praying before. I do understand the praying after. But at the same time, to me, it's just logical to be like, I'm about to put my phone to my ear. Um, call nine, nine 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 in in yeah in the UK it's nine nine nine, in America it's nine one one. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be chatting for too long, for real, for real, for real. I'm just gonna keep it one hundred with you. It depends on the individual. You have to ask the person that's religious that question. I can't. I can't speak for every black person. I cannot speak for every African. Africans are black people, by the way. So yeah in fact i should cover it in, in another video but um yeah so you the thing you're going to do right now is join the online workshops be part of the um, elite revolution family be prepared for the revolution that is taking place but being prepared is one of the best things and best feelings ever because like i said it's about survival yeah i don't know if i mentioned that already but anyway life is about survival and the survival of the fittest and to be top of the food chain, yeah, because for some reason we see ourselves at the bottom. I don't really see ourselves at the bottom, but in Western society, I can understand why people have that perception. But again, it's about survival. We have a lot of resources in Africa. We have so many things that we can take advantage of. We got, we've been blessed with plentiful things, plentiful, yeah. So, at the end of the day, it will make more sense to learn how to really, truly survive, yeah? And I'm not just talking about, um, on a physical level, there's, there's the spiritual level, there's the mental level, there's the uh, emotional level. I mean, yeah, I didn't mention spiritual and religion, but religion and spiritual are two different things. However, for more information, this is why I strongly recommend that you click on the link below where it says get involved and join the online workshops and be part of the elite revolution family all right so as always peace love and blessings